This is chapter um four. Yeah, four. I forgot. Of that thing where the girl fucks Spongebob. Anyway. Uh, Carly returns from her vacation. The moment she tries unlocking the door, she realizes it's, it's already unlocked. Did I forget to lock the door before I left? She thought to herself as she walks into the living room and drops off her luggage and other bags by the couch. Spencer does the same and immediately walks to the kitchen to get a fat cake. Oh, that fat cake, y'all! He munches on the fat cake. Apparently that's a brand? Fat cake? And picks up the lockpick kicking on the table. What's this? He says through a mouthful stuffed with fat cake. Stop saying fat cake! Carly takes it and opens the pouch containing lockpicking equipment. Spencer, do you know what this is? Someone broke into our apartment. Carly frantically sets the kit down. Start looking around the house. See if anything's gone. After a few hours of searching the house, nothing was found to be taken. Everything was in its place. Who would break in and not do anything, says Spencer. Carly sighs in distress. Well, there's something weird going on, and I want to find out what it is. After pondering in her room for a while, staring at the odd lockpick kit, she goes up and tries to get her mind off the situation. I'll just call Sam and tell her about it. Maybe she can help me, she thought to herself, and picks up the phone. As she's scrolling through her contacts for Sam, it hits her. This is Sam's lockpicking kit. She called Sam. As it rang, she debated on whether to confront her over the phone or in person. Sam picked up, and she decided to be better in person. They talked for a while and decided to meet the next day at the Groovy groovy Smoothie. I'm going to guess this is something in this show. I've never... That's a horrible name. Carly was already waiting at the Groovy Smoothie when Sam arrived. I can't say it without laughing. Arrived and took a seat next to Carly, who was... (laughs) <laughs> who was sip sipping on a strawberry smoothie. It actually says that. <laughs> Sam, I came home yesterday and found this. She presented the lockpicking kit to her. I know it's yours. Why did you break into my house? Uh, I was uh, I was hungry, and I, I had no money for food in my house, so I, I got some from your house? Uh, Sam, just let me know next time if you plan to break into the house and take food. The two enjoyed the rest of the day together, but Sam's noticed very strange changes happening to her body in the past few days. Why are her bras so tight? Why is she inexplicably nauseous? Only time will tell. Shit's about to get real, y'all. It's about to get real, real. How many more chapters of this are there? One? Fuck it. Let's just read it. This is the finale. Who gives a shit? Chapter 5. Sam, Carly, and Freddy have been enjoying everything summer has to offer. Though one week, Sam sleeps over at Carly's. Oh, the thing Sam and Spongebob did as Carly slumbered for seven nights straight in Carly's living room. And this is how it went down as turn of event follows. Night one. Hey, Sam, I wonder, (laughs) since... Oh, I'm sorry, it's... Spongebob, I'm sorry. Hey, Sam, I wonder, nah, since I'm so small, uh, I need a tighter fit, nah, says Spongebob. What do you have in mind, says Sam, confused about where Spongebob is going with what he says. Would you let me do it in the ear? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I never thought I'd say that. Mm. She raises an eyebrow at him, then just shrugs as she sets her head near Spongebob. Spongebob whips out his porous penis and jabs it into Sam's ear. Ow! She quietly exclaims, aware that Carly is asleep. Spongebob moves in and out and eventually speeds up so fast that the friction burns her ear. She hisses in pain and her head whips up. And sponge semen dripping out of her ear. Spongebob flies off of her head. His spongy self takes no damage from the impact of falling. He just laughs in satisfaction. She rubs her ear. She looks at the sponge semen on her fingers. Sponge semen. I just, I want to, I'm going to say that a couple more times because you really need to sponge semen. You need to think about that. She looks at Spongebob seductively and licks it off her fingers. Night two. Sam blows Spongebob again. She notices that he laughs more and more as he's about to ejaculate. He laughs more. (laughs) Just before Sam's mouth has his baby batter all inside. (laughs) Baby batter? It has lost its pineapple taste since being away from a pineapple environment for so long. (laughs) Night three. Sam and Spongebob (laughs) tried... Sam and Spongebob tried titty fucking tonight. You know, there's a sentence I never thought I'd say. 
After SpongeBob comes everywhere, he makes a, a semen angel. <laughs> He's just flopping around. Sam, says SpongeBob. Yeah, she hesitates for a moment. Never mind. <laughs> Little does Sam know that SpongeBob noticed that her breasts have grown larger. Night four. SpongeBob is eating Sam out like crazy. His tongue flicks from side to side as his eyes bulge out of his skull and she tries to contain her moans. Sam pushes SpongeBob closer to her vagina as she allows her moans to grow louder. Now she's pushed, Bob com pushed SpongeBob completely into her vagina. <laughs> Just in there. <laughs> SpongeBob does all kinds of spongy movements that, fa that fancy them. <laughs> Let me try that again. SpongeBob does all kinds of spongy movements that fancy the vaginal walls that belong to Sam. All right. Sam finally orgasms and squirts. Along with the squirt, SpongeBob washes up like a beached whale on the living room floor. SpongeBob is disheveled and satisfied with his results. Sam then snatches him off the floor, rinses out her own fluids, rinses out her own fluids into her mouth, gargling it as the horny SpongeBob washes. <laughs> Oh, God. Night five. SpongeBob loved being inside her. I mean, inside of her. It actually says it like that. He suggested anal. And so they did anal. Sam's anus smelled of dishwashing soap and SpongeBob had bits of feces on him. Ew. And that made him go crazy as he ejaculated through every pore of his body like a sprinkler. Lick me, he moans. Sam picks him up and starts passing her tongue all over. Ugh. Her tongue turned brown. Turned brown. Ugh. And SpongeBob had turned brownish yellow. Ugh. Oh, it's disgusting. Sam proceeds to shove, to shove her into her vagina. She just kind of folded in on herself. Just whoosh. Boy, if that isn't going to give her an infection later. It actually says that. I'm not I'm not making a statement. It's actually written like that. And that's really disgusting. Okay. Night six. Sam and SpongeBob decided they need to lay off the scat sex since Carly had a slight whiff of something awful in the morning. This night they have regular old missionary rowdiness. I'm, it's actually written like that. Night seven. Sam ravenously runs SpongeBob over her clitoris as she begins squirting and moaning uncontrollably. Carly hears the sound and walks down, walks the stairs half asleep. She yawns and rubs her eyes a bit more in focus and proceeds to step down the stairs. Sam, what's going on? She takes the last few steps and switches on the living room light. And the first thing she sees is Sam, spread eagle, rubbing SpongeBob on herself for a few seconds before Carly shrieks out of shock. Sam, what are you doing? Screams Carly as Sam's mind goes blank. I, I... And that's the end. I also mean that's the end of the story. We're not going to know what happened to this cliffhanger. I assume something horrible. Because everything was horrible. Thanks for watching, you guys. I'm going to go throw up because that, that chapter made me really nauseated. Just... <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. No. No. Alright. Do comment, subscribe, and stuff. Uh, I love you all. Oh, God. Alright, bye.